Well, good morning, YouTube friends. Thought I'd stop in for a quick coffee challenge. I, uh, I know I posted this a few weeks ago, this little restoration of this Adams heater. And uh, I don't know, you can get a good look at it here. You can kind of see the, the restoration slideshow that I did uh, a while back ago, maybe a few weeks ago. But uh, it was a major surprise to me when I actually flipped up these two little these two little keys because this I had this in my collection for years and it never worked and I just hadn't had the time or spent the time to do the restoration but when I pulled this tray out you end up with this lovely little stove see that so I'm gonna do my coffee challenge on the atoms. So stand by and I'll get my stuff. Okay, I'm back. Use this little, I guess Sean calls it a mocha pot. I don't know what I call it other than absolutely delicious. If you do not have one of these, it's a must have. I actually feel like for me, make some of the best coffee. The only problem is, is if you got somebody with you, you know, if it doesn't, uh, it takes a while to get a couple of pots going. But you just put your, this is your water reservoir. Oh, I shouldn't have put that in there yet. Fill your funnel screen, you get this little funnel top, and you tighten this thing down, good and tight, there's a seal on there, and then let's just put it right on top of there, there we go, so, um, while that cooks. I'm just gonna tell you, I'm just gonna give you the short version of it. I took off uh, for a business trip on uh, Wednesday. And uh, it's, it's a long story, but uh, I took off without my phone on my desk at work. And I got to the airport, I'm on that TSA pre-check so I can just go right through the line. I get to the airport. I figure out I don't have my phone. And from that point on, for the last three days, I have figured out that I can do nothing without my phone. I, I am a 100% cell phone user. I don't have, I, don't, I rarely even use my work laptop, um, which, which goes to show because when I took it, my password had changed, uh, but it didn't follow my laptop. I couldn't get into my laptop. And then every single thing that I do requires two-part authentication so uh, I couldn't get to my reservations uh, I did happen to know which rental car company I got to Twin Falls Idaho and I had to drive to five different hotels to try to find which hotel I was in so you, you're kind of getting a feeling of what's going on and then I used the computer at the hotel um, I, I found a mail service that doesn't require um, uh, an email address for backup or even a phone which is a sketchy email uh, address and I'm, I'm trying to use trying to contact our help desk trying to contact people that I might know from work I only know a couple phone numbers you know my, my business partner's phone number is almost identical to mine it, it took a couple days for me to finally get a hold of him I mean I was trying to get somebody to go get my phone take it to their desk and allow me to go on to our our site and send this code but I, I it just it just didn't work out so the last three days have been an absolute nightmare I'm not kidding you I could just I can go time just tell you after one story after another 
um, of how terrible it is to not uh, have access to your contacts, have access to your reservations, have access to your presentation for your customer, your deliverables, uh, not be able to use your laptop. But uh, it was it was nothing short of a technology meltdown. Um, the good part is at the end of the trip, I got to see my grandkids and my granddaughter, my grand, my uh, son-in-law, and we ended up uh, having some good times together, and I was able to make some uh, phone calls. I didn't even have my wife's, but I, I knew the four last four digit of her, of her phone number. I could not remember for the life of me. I, I spent $26 trying to find different variations of, of the first three digits. No go. So, that's a story, uh, you know, probably doesn't interest you guys much, but I'll tell you, it's a learning lesson for me. I've got to do something because I'm sure that's going to happen again. And it's just, uh, it's sad how connected we've become where you can almost do nothing uh, without these codes and, and stuff. So, anyway, let's get this thing to perk, and I will uh, uh, get back to the good stuff, and I'll be right back. So here's a quick look at the setup. Pretty cool that I found a Craftsman. Look at it, it's got, it says heaters. It's got a camp stove on there. It's pretty neat. Very simple setup. Has a turn valve at the top. It goes down to a coupler down there. There's a breather right there that you can adjust the flame. And then you can see that beauty just sizzling away down there. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Let's take a peek. See if we got any. Not yet. And there's no spiders in there, so that's good. So, and then, uh, showed you this. This just slide, this whole business just slides right into the into the case and then you got a heater and then once that slid in there you just slid, slide down these locks to keep it from sliding out all right there it goes again if you if you don't have one of these grab one because you I guarantee you'll love it this one's better because it'll just go and fill up its own little carafe there. Where the other one, you got to be on point. If you miss, and I've done it, I've blown that that coffee out and uh, all over everything, and uh, had to start over. But uh, there we go. Look at that. Perfect. Oh man, the smell. Boy, howdy. Listen to you perk. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely coffee. I got a little spot over here where I shoot a little bit of that coffee out in case of any spider. Can you smell it? All right, listen guys. I missed you guys. Um, I appreciate everything. I, I, I just love, I, well, I admit, besides my family, <laughs> all I want to do is get back and uh, talk to the good old boys and gals. So it looks fixing to be a beautiful day today. Uh, there's a couple sales out today. And uh, ooh. never disappoints. Uh, a couple sales 
hopefully uh, run into a, a couple of things. I mean, if not, we're going to get out and get some exercise and, and tool it around. So, but uh, thanks for coming for Coffee Challenge. Rob, thanks for the shout out. Chris, Jeezy, uh, thanks for checking in on me, buddy. Appreciate it. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend the next couple days and find out all the good stuff that you guys post in the last three days. So I'm still here and, uh, and kicking. Have a good weekend. Till next time.